All right, here I have three CPUs that I'm planning to do a comparison on for people that have uh, old e-machine, Acer, or even gateways, or even other machines that run these particular uh, CPUs with the AM2 sockets. And basically, I want to start off by saying that I bought these two, and this is the one that came with my system. So, okay, here I have the AMD Athlon 2650E. This is a 25 TDP. That, come, that came with the system is a single core. This is a AMD Athlon 5050E, which is a TDP of 65 watts. And this particular CPU is a dual core. And this one I have is the AMD Phenon uh, 9750. This is a 95 version of it. Uh, there's another version that I think is 125 watts. But this is a 95, uh, 95 watt version. And this one right here is... This CPU is very uh, is a quad core, so it's very fast compared to these other two. But it's it's funny that this one is two times as fast as this one, and this one is two times faster than this one. So it it kind of scales up exactly with how many cores. So uh, I want to start off by saying that these CPUs are pretty old, so they're there for AM2 sockets, and I ended up upgrading it to the 5050E on my system that came with the 2650E because this single core was very slow and people that have it know that this is a very slow processor so this is a 5050E uh, this one is a dual uh, core and is it was twice as responsive than this one so you'll definitely see the difference between these two and I ended up you know gaming and doing a couple things and upgrading the RAM which I get into in a second that you know it worked fine but I was still being you know I was still curious on how much speed I can get and again I was gaming I do a lot of mobile gaming so it was fine with that but I was still having issues with lag and response time and even you know multitasking with certain things so I was curious on uh, see if I can upgrade it so I did some research I ended up buying this AMD Athlon 9750 the 95 version to work in my uh, system, the eMachine EL1333-11F, and I realized that it worked fine in my system. It was a little bit hot, actually. You know, if you have in a tight space, it will get hot. So it will overheat. Maybe your system will shut down if it ends up doing that. So my problem, I was still getting a uh, blue screen uh, death or the blue screen on Windows. Have you guys experienced that? But when I was gaming only in ended up being that the error I was getting was error memory and my system uh, uh, has a DDR2 and ended up being that the DDR2 was the bottleneck in my system and this is a Kingston 2 gigabyte low profile 800 megahertz uh, DDR2 RAM and I ended up buying uh, 4 gigs for my system uh, you guys can see a video that I put up uh, previously comparing you know comparing the updates that I did to my system and I was still having bottlenecking and for certain things for certain tasks especially you know when gaming and I realized that D the DDR2 was just way too slow you know it's a dual channel is 800 megahertz each so it breaks it down to 400 megahertz each at least in my system so you have to you know be careful when you guys tend to upgrade these uh this old system and I definitely recommend upgrade doing these upgrades if you just guys gonna you know give the system to somebody a relative somebody that doesn't just do check emails and so forth this system is so great for that and if you end up getting a 5050e which costs fifteen dollars on eBay and this is a 9750 this is the 95 version so this costs like around twenty five dollars so it's around ten dollar difference between these two but this is a quad core it's dual core and depending when you have your system, I, you know, overall I recommend the 5050E. But if you, you know, can want to tinker and mess around a little bit with your PC tower, you can uh, get an AMD Athlon 9750. And again, be careful. This runs hot, so better have good ventilation. You know, don't keep your system in the enclosed case or an enclosed uh, 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 TV set. So be careful with that. And it, it ran great running mobile games and so forth, but when I got into Black Ops and other games that usually required more RAM, 
So, you know, I also have an SSD in my system and that didn't help at all. It's still having crashes, but only with this CPU. And sometimes it ended up with being this CPU, but this CPU, CPU was stable. And this, they're all stable. It's just the fact that I was trying to do more than what it, it was capable of. And most of the errors, again, that I've gotten was due to the uh, memory error. So you want to be careful what things you, what, what you upgrade. So this is just a test of the waters and, you know, one of the test uh, this system to its limit and I ended up doing that so pretty soon it's time to switch and upgrade so I, I hope to be doing that soon and I'll see if I do it in the same case or not but just to show you I'm gonna bring in the motherboard and just to so you guys can see which motherboard I'm using because a lot of people were asking me uh, which motherboard I have and this is a motherboard for the uh, specifically this one was from an Acer uh, X 1200 but it's, the e-machines is just is the same thing so the reason I have this motherboard because previously the person that had this uh, CPU uh, CPU uh, not CPU sorry uh, this uh, tower e-machine uh, EL133 damaged the motherboard so overheated and had in a tight space and I think it had water damage too so yeah so I ended up getting this one a long time ago, way before I even upgraded these CPUs. And I realized that, you know, the difference was nothing. It was just some different I.O. ports. But this is specifically the CP, uh, the motherboard I have for these uh, three CPUs here. And it works great. I mean, this motherboard is limited to 4 gigabytes of RAM. Again, you know, the, your Acer, E-Machines, and even your Gateways. So be careful when upgrading these things so uh, don't spend too much money and if you guys want to tinker or get, hand it down to somebody else that doesn't use it too much you can upgrade the RAM to 4 gigs and just buy a, a little faster uh, CPU and you should be fine with this for another couple years if they don't do intestinal tasks or want to tinker with the tower again you know be careful when upgrading and good luck